Hello students, welcome back to the Botany of Cannabis. This is part two. So here we're exploring some different types of organs for the plant. And I just wanted to talk first about leaves. We already talked about stems. Leaves are the second vegetative organ of the plant that we're gonna talk about. Now leaves in general can range in size and shape and are generally the function uh, is photosynthesis. So this is where sugars are made for the plant. And so we see different adaptations like shown in this picture down below of leaves that have adapted to their environment for photosynthesis. Now, some leaves have holes in them that helps water drain um, in, in environments that are very wet. Um, windy environments sometimes have these leaves with lots of leaflets. Um, it kind of depends. We have to look at each individual scenario. Now, there are a few categories for leaf types here. Um, we've got simple leaves and we have compound leaves. And um, simple leaves have one leaf, compound leaves have leaflets to them. And here is a palmate leaf. Here is, this is a bipinnate leaf, and this is a tripinnate leaf. This is pinnate, where we have one petiole with lots of leaflets coming off it. And for our pines, um, we have leaves and fascicles. So our cannabis has serrated palmate leaves. So serrated means that the edges have tooths, teeth, I should say. They're toothed edges, and we have leaves that look like a palm. This is the petiole right here, and then these are the leaflets coming out. So it's a compound leaf. I should also mention that sometimes you'll see leaves that have three leaflets, sometimes seven leaflets. Most often we see cannabis leaves with five leaflets, but it depends on uh, the plant, the light, um, the genetic, genetics of the plant. Some will have broader leaflets than others. Indica um, cannabis plants have kind of thicker leaves, um, and the sativa plants tend to have thinner leaflets. Okay, for roots, this is an, our third and last vegetative organ for a plant. So in the vegetative stage, the growing stage, we see growth of the shoot with the stem and the leaves. And then we also see growth of the roots down underground. We don't always see it, but it is there. And it's very important. The roots um, are uh, important, important and often invisible part of the plant. Uh, they support and anchor a plant. They also store nutrients. They can be a storage organ for the plant. Um, they can store water and sugars, but they, what they really need to do for the plant, the active part is absorbing water from the soil and soil nutrients. So plants do not absorb water through their leaves or their stem. They absorb water through the roots and the soil. Um, and there are certain nutrients that they can get through the soil too, uh, which we'll talk about in later um, PowerPoints and, and presentations. Roots can take up just as much, if not more space underground than the shoots. So here we've got roots, various shapes and styles here and our shoots. So some can have a tap root with branches, some could be more fibrous. Uh, this root here showing a general tap root with some branching looks like our cannabis plant. It's not completely fibrous like this grass, and it's not as distinctive of a taproot as this plant. Now, an important part of the plant is the flower. So this is a reproductive organ for the plant. Not all plants have flowers, um, but cannabis plants do. And there's a whole group of plants in, called the flowering plants. So flowers are diverse and often contain reproductive organs. So depending on the species, the flower will look different. So this is a generalized picture of a flower. We'll look more specifically at cannabis flowers soon. So to start out, the, most, the outermost part of a flower is called the sepal. 
Now, when a plant has a bud, a flower bud, what's enclosing that bud are sepals. They're modified leaves. The petals are just inside that, and they're also, believe it or not, modified leaves. And they could be various colors. Okay, the petals here are shown as pink, but cannabis petals are green, um, sometimes whitish. And then we have the reproductive organs wrapped up inside the petals. The stamen includes the anthers and the filaments. And these are male reproductive parts. And then we have the carpal, which are the female reproductive parts. And sometimes this is called a pistil, sometimes it's called a carpal. It includes the ovary and the ovules, which are the developing seeds, the early seeds, a style, and a stigma. All right. Now, this is a very generalized plant. Like I said, generalized flower. And this is what's called a perfect flower, where we have the male parts, the stamen, and the female parts, the pistil, all in one flower. Now, that is not the case with every plant. And not all plants have flowers, and not all plants have flowers that look like this. There is a lot of diversity out there. And so what we have with cannabis is a plant that has flowers, which only have the male parts, and then we have flowers that only have the female parts. And these are actually on different individual plants. So cannabis is called dioecious. That means two houses. And it means that we can have a male plant that only shows male flowers. Everything else is the same. Male flowers, male reproductive structures. And then we can have female plants that has flowers with just the pistils. So just the female parts of the flower make that a female plant. In all other ways, those plants are equal as far as we know. So this is just highlighting the male parts. The stamen is the male part of the flower um, made up of the anther and the filament. So that's like the bulk of this thing here. It's got pollen on it. Uh, the filament is a long thin fiber that holds up the anther. And the anther is what produces and distributes the pollen. Male flowers on a cannabis plant look like this. Here's one that's opened, okay? And these are hanging down. Sometimes they're called pollen sacs. And these are um, containing, these are sepals that we're looking at containing the anthers and the filaments inside. So they don't really look like the flowers that we've seen. Um, these are kind of bunchy, bunchy buds on a plant. The female flower parts include the carpal. That's a generalized term for all three structures. The stigma is the sticky portion at the top of a style. There's a long tube. Pollen will stick to the stigma, stigma and travel down the style to the ovary right here that contains the ovules, which can develop into seeds. So those are the female parts of a flower. And again, this is a perfect flower showing both male and female parts inside. And so here are some male flowers shown here. Female flowers look more like this. Now, that's not a great picture, but the female flowers are what is harvested for cannabis, for cannabinoids. The male flowers only contain pollen and have very low cannabinoid content. So when growing cannabis um, for cannabinoid production, you want to have female plants. You want to have those female flowers. Male flowers are not as useful. And when you have male flowers in your cannabis garden, they can pollinate the female flowers, which can lead to seed production. And you, the seeds have very low tea, um, cannabinoid content as well. And so you don't want to have seeds. So having males is usually not ideal for cannabis production, cannabis industry. Um, you wanna get rid of the males unless you're doing breeding programs where you want to introduce different genetics. Um, then people will have males in a controlled environment for crossbreeding. 
Um, the female flowers also produce a good amount of trichomes. Now these are little sticky parts that contain cannabinoids. So trichomes can be um, pointy like this. Depending on the age of the plant, they'll start out as pointy, they'll multiply, and then they'll elongate and get this swollen head at the top. Now when these turn kind of an amber color, that's when the cannabin um, cannabinoids have developed and the trichomes are mature. This is often a sign that your cannabis is ready to harvest. And so these are microscopic pictures on the female flower parts for the cannabis plant. You can find trichomes on leaves, also um, sugar leaves that are close to the female uh, flower buds, um, and even sometimes on fan leaves, which are a little farther out. So we don't see trichomes on all types of plants, but cannabis is one that's notorious for having trichomes. The female cluster of flowers is often called a cola. Okay, in the cola, we can see mature buds here. Now, what we're looking at here are the um, the pistils coming out, and they're they've turned this orangey color because of all the trichomes. They're mature. Okay, so we do see some leaves. This looks like it has a few leaves stuck in here. But the bulk of this, this bud, is female flowers. So we're, sometimes people will call this a bud, but this is a collection of buds at the tip of a growing stem. Now, to end this, we're going to look at the internal organization of our plants. Um, inside the plant, we have a lot of ground tissue, so in the stem. Ground tissue is important because it makes up the bulk of the plant. We see ground tissue in the stem as well as the roots, the leaves, and even the flower buds, okay, the bulk of the plant. We have also vascular tissue here in the middle, which transports water and sugars for the plant. So epidermis covers like protection, ground tissue at stem, it's important to note that the xylem, vascular tissue xylem, transports water. That's what pulls water up from the roots. That water travels up these little tubes called xylem tubes. Um, and then phloem transports sugar. So from the leaves, the sugar will be transported to the buds so that we can have bud development and flower development and extra sugar gets transported down to the roots. And here is our full cannabis plant uh, showing our stems, leaves coming out at the nodes, internodes in between, and then we have our buds at the top. These are our female flowers, clusters of female flowers making up the cola. All right, I hope you enjoyed this presentation on some of the parts of the cannabis plant. By um, looking at this, if you have questions, email me and contact me. Thank you.